Hey boss babes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are here today to do a February favorites of the month and a lot of you guys have been asking me for this type of video. Okay, I fucking lied. Alright, I was a lying ass bitch. Actually, like no one asked me for this video, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Teeth check, pit check, we good. Hey boss babes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are here today to do something that I have been wanting to do. The month is finally over. February went by so quick. Like, if you really think about it, we are in March already. Oh, I can't believe it. 2019 is already flying super quick, but I am already loving it. 2019. 2019 is my year, our year. We're gonna get shit done. I am so, so, so excited for what God has in plan for all of us. Let's not go into a big old rant right now because we're gonna just, just. I had too much coffee this morning. I am like stuttering like more than what I already do. Chill. Oh my goodness. Let's let's wrap it up. I have a ton of goodies that I want to share with you guys. When I first started watching YouTube back in the day, high school, chilling in my bed at nighttime and just watching so many YouTube videos, makeup tutorials, all that good stuff. I used to see a lot of February favorites or March, January, whatever. I wanted to kind of bring that back into the YouTube world, which I doubt was going to happen because I only have like 2,000 subscribers, but we're going to try. Let's just hop into this video. That was so freaking weird. Let's just hop into this video. My first all-time favorite perfume of the month, or the past couple of months, has been Chanel. It smells so delicious. <laughs> Another favorite of mine has been the Scandinavia Setting Spray. I am obsessed with this setting spray, okay? And I also love the primer spray. I use them both together. They are a little pricey, they are $32. If you guys are used to like your drugstore makeup, this one is more on the higher end brand. But I also do sell mini versions of it for $14. If you guys wanna save some money, you guys can also get the mini versions, but these duo together, the bomb. Next, these are like random little knickknacks. I have really been loving this brush. I know, super random, removing all my freaking pelo. So this brush, I got it from Forever 21 for like three or four dollars and it's so cute and compact. I carry it like on the go, in my purse, at my makeup station. I am also obsessed. <laughs> now as for a makeup product, I really, really, really love this foundation, especially for this weather. Like. I live for matte foundations, but since it's been kind of cold in Cali, which is so weird, this foundation, it's, I don't want to say it's dewy, but it's more of a hydrating foundation compared to the LA Girl Matte. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. I have been using this a lot recently only because my skin has been dry, and then if you put matte foundation on top of that it just looks like a complete mess unless unless you use a matte foundation with like a strobing cream underneath or like a dewy primer to kind of like balance the two that also works too uh number 644 i put these little labels on it because I use these as testers for my customers when I color match. By the way, I do color match. If you guys need a foundation, come to the store. I got you. So another random knickknack. Sell these at my store. You can get them like at any beauty supplies. These little razors. Um, they are the bomb in like shaving off this area, your stash, your brows. Just be careful when you reach your brow, okay? Disclaimer right now because your girl chopped off a little chunk. Now, this has been my favorite candle of all time. I am a candle addict. Uh, addict? 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 It sounds like I'm saying addict. 
I have a candle addiction. There you go. I have a candle addiction and I have been obsessed with the scent. Like, literally, I'm so addicted to candles that I even make them sometimes. Yes. And it's pretty fun making candles. So if you have not tried it, definitely recommend when you make your own scent. It's like, delicious. My favorite candle has been Rose Water and Ivy by Bed Bath and Body Works. And I just love the whole like color, the smell, it smells amazing. And it fits in with like my room decor, it matches everything. It's, it just adds like a cute little touch. I love the gold, so cute, obsessed. Okay, so another favorites of mine, if you guys don't know, I came out with four new styles, four obsessed lashes. I have not been on YouTube for a while to let you guys know this, but if you guys are my true supporters on Instagram, you guys know all this already. Eyelash of the month has been Dreamer. I am obsessed. It's so wispy, so fluffy. Um, it's gonna be this style right over here. This one is Dreamer. This one is sassy. So this is Style Dreamer, one of my new lashes. As you guys can see, it's nice and fluffy, wispy. That's all, like, all of my lashes, that's my goal when it comes to creating them. I love the wispy, full, glamorous type of look. And I'm also going to be coming out with more natural lashes and also more dramatic. You guys love the dramatic lashes. And I'm listening to you guys, so stay tuned for a complete new collection that is dreamy this is another style this one is called sassy like i was saying earlier another wispy lash it's called serenity and this one extends out to give you that cat eye look and they are a lot shorter as well so as you can see the comparison between sassy and serenity this one does flare out towards the endy and this one's just more round all around Ooh, this one is my top seller this is like my most dramatic lash and it is selling so quick guys like I bought so many pairs and the fact that we're already almost sold out within like three weeks that is amazing especially for like a small business like mine like I am completely shocked I have not sold out of a lash this quick before and it is called Fierce. This bitch is fierce honey. I, my customers are obsessed with it. I am obsessed with it. This is honestly the reason why I am doing this video because this product just changed the game for me. I'm going to put you guys on the best face wash ever. You guys ask me how I get my skin looking so nice and so smooth and without makeup my skin is just like so soft. Like when I wash my makeup off I'm like when I was younger, if you guys did not know, I had breakouts all over my face and I had acne scars and that was the hardest thing to remove. I did a lot of facials when I was starting from 15 and now I am 23 years old. I still get them done every so often. The acne scars were clear, gone, removed by my facial esthetician. I'm going to give you guys her Instagram right over here. This product is by The Facial Suite and it is a walnut scrub. It's similar to St. Ives scrub, like that peach one, but it's just 10 times better. When it's that time of the month, I always break out around like this area, like my neck. I like scrub the heck out of my face, I kid you not, my breakouts disappear like that. It is Youth Glow skincare, like it's freaking disgusting. My because I use it so much. I'm gonna open it for you guys, but just keep in mind, it does not look like this when you get it. The water sometimes gets into my container because I leave it open and it gets a little gunky. That's how it looks. You guys can see like it's like, it's watered down, but when you purchase it, it's like, it comes, it looks a lot different. It looks like a scrub basically. It smells amazing it's like minty fresh so when you scrub your face number one it's exfoliating the hell out of your skin and number two like it just feels so refreshing kind of like when you put like a, a mint lip gloss and you just feel it on your lips like tingling that's how your skin feels after so fresh so clean I am obsessed with this product like it's to die for I'm trying my best to get it into my store location so within the next couple of days stay tuned i'm still contacting the owner for this brand game changer try it out like 
trust me on this. So that is another product I have been obsessed with. This other favorite that I have been to die for, it is a podcast. Just wait before you guys like think this is stupid. It's amazing. Your daily cup of inspiration with Diana Hobbs, okay? And I, this has been helping me out so much through my struggles. My life has been a roller coaster for the past few months. Thank God it's getting better and I definitely have to thank that podcast for it. Listening to it, it's very spiritual and it talks about God. So if you guys don't really believe in that area, then I mean this isn't for you. But if you do, then you will notice yourself getting a lot closer to God. Long story short, like I said, I am obsessed with this podcast. But I want to go into like a little story time um, that happened to me last year. One day, I was chilling at my store stressing out i was like at my low in my life and i know so many people go through a lot of things in life so much more worse than what like i go through but this was something very tough that i was trying to deal with um and all at once like family uh the store was like going through some problems a breakup just personal life everything was just hitting me all at once and i was just like what the fuck do i do i was praying to God and just asking for his help like guide me in your path God it was coming to the point where I was like questioning everything I get up pick myself up and I have these three signs in my store that say love hope and faith okay these signs I actually have it right here I'm gonna show you guys right now are pretty thick like it cannot fall unless you shake the shelf or something or bump into it and all of a sudden, like as I'm literally holding onto the door to leave, I just hear something fall so loud and I was like, what the fuck? Like who is in here? I was kind of shook. So knowing me, fucking, I'm, I'm lazy, okay? If something falls, like I will just leave it there and just pick it up later. Since I'm trying to change that habit, I was like, no, just go pick it up. Damn, it could have been like a murder or something. I'm like one of those dumb girls in a scary movie. I went to go look to see what fell, thinking it's like an eyeshadow palette or something. And it was face down, the sign, like this. I pick it up, I look at it, and look what it said. My whole body just got like the chills. And I felt like my prayer got answered right then and there. Like, just have faith. Everything will turn around for you. Like, that's literally what went in my mind. Have faith. I, at that moment, my whole mentality switched. I laughed and I was just like, okay, God, like, I see you. I'm gonna have faith and believe in you and just let it be. Everything switched around within like, the next couple of days oh my god i don't know why my camera keeps on shutting off but um yeah i couldn't even explain this feeling like it was amazing so i know this is like a random little rant but it all leads back to the podcast and what has been helping me out over like five months and i just wanted to share that along with you guys because we're all struggling in this life trying to like gather everything together and i hope this message or this just helps any of those who are struggling at the moment like i said just have faith and i'm just gonna end it off on that note so i hope you guys enjoyed this video like always don't forget to like and subscribe down below and stay tuned for my next video thank you guys so much for showing support to obsessed beauty as always i will talk to you guys in my next video bye ladies